Let me take y'all back to my childhood. Like, was I always a dreamer? Live on the Dino Show. I believe in you. It's time to believe in yourself. Um, was I always a dreamer? I mean, for as young as I can remember, I always had dreams. Now, my dreams, I think they were mostly bad. Um, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I do remember bad dreams. Um, and as far as dreams, though, as far as, like, career-wise, the first dream I had, I wanted to be, like, an FBI agent. It's because I was watching all these movies. Um, then I started to interact with more, like, cops, just in general, like, state troopers. And I was like, I don't want to do this, honestly. Um, once, I, once I started to get more into athletics, like, once I see my brother go to university... Um, of South Carolina, I'm like, okay, like, okay, I, I'm, I have a different dream. You know what I'm saying? So eighth grade is when I actually started chasing dreams. Um, before I did track, I did track in seventh grade, but it wasn't really me chasing a dream. I didn't have no dream to go to college back then. Um, it was just me doing it because my brother was doing it. Um, but so eighth grade is when I was like, okay, yeah, when I get a freshman year, that's when I'm going to get right. And then I started taking pictures and putting them all up over my my wall, um, posters, universities, um, their pictures, literally to to put myself in that mood, like all I could think about is track and field. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I really started chasing my dreams when I got to high school. So I've been a dreamer as far as like me looking, the, the beginning stages of my dream path was me looking at, on, on TV and seeing the people that I wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? Seeing the career paths that I wanted to be. It was mostly on TV, so I don't want to say I recommend y'all watching TV at all. Um, um, I, I, maybe YouTube. Um, actually, I guess TV. Yeah, TV can motivate you. Um, yeah, I guess. You don't got to watch excess TV, but it's like... Um, you got to know what's in the outside world. Um, also, show, social media doesn't always show everything. You need to watch full things, like things... Um, I guess I don't really watch TV though, so it's like I don't want to be a hypocrite. Um, I watch YouTube, but so yeah, um, I was inspired by what I watched on TV. That's how I started dreaming, and I started to realize that the things I was watching on TV there are opportunities in person for me to partake in, um, in order to build towards that career that I saw on TV. Um, one of them was track and field. So, um, the first thing that I did was I quit all my sports in high school besides track and field. And I did cross country because I was like, I need to become the best. I stopped playing football, stopped playing basketball because I didn't have a dream of that. So I'm not going to do nothing that I don't have a dream of doing. That's a waste of time. And I realized that back when I was literally like 12, 13 years old. You know what I'm saying? Um, in high school, literally. Um, so pursuing it came after I had the dream. First I had the dream, then I started manifesting it by putting posters up, then actually doing the act of quitting things and spending more time um, doing what my dream was. Um, so I've always been a dreamer, yeah, since, since, since I was uh, younger, but I don't, I, it actually, okay, I actually haven't always been a dreamer. It's been since I was in like middle school. So elementary school, like, nah, I don't know. It was no dreams that I was thinking of at all. Um, I don't even, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there was nothing that I was thinking of. Like, it was just, I was going to school and coming home, going to school and coming home. Like, I was just in the world, literally. Um, yeah. So, definitely an amazing time, though. Uh, now, if I don't want you to compare your situation with mine to where you're like, okay, like this man was a dreamer and he cut things off and he was on the right path when he was so younger, so he's ahead of me. Like people, people have their own path. So um, if you want like any advice in this situation, um, this is not really for me to technically give advice. It's for you to just take my story and run with it. Um, because I'm talking about whether I was a dreamer since I was younger. You know what I'm saying? I could be a dreamer since I was younger or I could not be a dreamer since I was younger it could be different for you as well I said me personally not since I was in elementary school more since late 
uh, late middle school, like eighth grade, like freshman year in high school, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then those dreams, it was really one dream me, for me to be the best in track and field um, all the way up until I became a pro and I got into Arizona. And then once I got to Arizona, literally, um, once I got to Arizona, I was in a whole nother world. I experienced fashion shows, being sponsored by companies. It was booming in Arizona, you know what I'm saying? I was just out there, so many opportunities. So that was a, that was a, um, a lot of other dreams that started to come into my head, which helped me create the company I Am Dino and Team I Am. You know what I'm saying? Sheesh, literally, um, since I was building out there. So that was another dream. So within my life, the more that I moved, the more dreams that I had or the more that I was able to build my dream um, and the more that I actually was active towards my dream every day and took time away from other things I was doing in order to perfect my dream, the, the better my dreams got. So I guess that could be advice for, um, for, for the video. Um, honestly, listen, take it how you want to, um, and continue to believe in yourself because I believe in you. Sheesh.